Ever heard of a metal that can make you sick? It's not as crazy as it sounds. This metal is sneaky. It hides in certain jobs. It can cause a lung disease called beryliosis. Let's explore this mysterious metal and how to stay safe. Beryliosis is a big word, but it's just a lung disease? It happens when you breathe in tiny bits of beryllium. Think of beryllium like dust, but much sneakier. This dust irritates your lungs. Over time, your lungs get inflamed and scarred. This makes it hard to breathe. Beryliosis is no joke. It's a serious condition. But don't worry, we're going to learn all about it. We'll find out how to protect ourselves and those we care about. Beryllium is a strong light metal. It's useful for many things. It's in airplanes, phones, and even x-ray machines. People who work with beryllium are at risk. This includes factory workers, miners, and even some dentists. When these tiny beryllium particles get into your lungs, your body freaks out. It thinks they are invaders. Your immune system tries to fight them off. This fighting causes inflammation. Inflammation is like your body's fire alarm. It means something is wrong. In the case of beryliosis, the inflammation doesn't go away. It can last for years and cause serious damage. Beryliosis can be tricky to diagnose. Sometimes people don't have symptoms for years. It's like a ninja hiding in the shadows, but eventually it reveals itself. Common symptoms include coughing, shortness of breath and fatigue. You might feel like you ran a marathon, even if you just walked up the stairs. In severe cases, beryliosis can cause chest pain, weight loss, and even make it hard to get enough oxygen. Doctors use different tools to diagnose beryliosis. They'll ask about your work history. They'll listen to your lungs. They might even do a blood test or a breathing test. Early detection is key. Section four, beryliosis by the numbers. Beryliosis is rare, but it's still a concern. Every year, hundreds of people in the United States are diagnosed with this disease. Men are more likely to get it than women, probably because they're more likely to work in jobs where they are exposed to beryllium. The good news is that treatments are available to manage the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. With proper care, many people with beryliosis can live long and fulfilling lives. However, there's no cure yet. That's why prevention is crucial. By taking steps to reduce exposure to beryllium, we can protect workers and prevent this debilitating disease. Remember that sneaky metal beryllium? It's important to stay safe from it. If you work with beryllium, always wear protective gear. This includes masks, gloves and special clothing. These act like your own personal force field against beryllium dust. Companies also have a responsibility to keep their workers safe. They should have good ventilation systems to remove beryllium dust from the air. They should also provide regular health checkups for their employees. Scientists are working hard to find new ways to prevent and treat beryliosis. They're developing new materials that can replace beryllium in certain products. They're also researching new drugs to target the immune system and stop the inflammation in the lungs. By working together, we can outsmart this sneaky metal and protect ourselves and future generations from the dangers of beryliosis. Stay curious, stay safe, and keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos.